Well, what treat do we have for you guys this 4th of July? Well, Tesla is working on and has beta testing 8.0 update. I know previously Elon had mentioned firmware update 7.2. I will bring some big, big updates. Well, it looks like instead of 7.2, they're going to be doing 8.0, which leads us to believe that the updates are going to be a little bigger, a little more grand than we were originally expecting. Now, of course, the big advantage of the Model S cars is <laughs> is that they can get over-the-air software updates. And that has enabled things such as autopilot, faster supercharging access, features up the wazoo, and also taken some features away, so on and so forth. Yeah, don't let your brother jump in the lake. Yep. Yeah. Well, um, Electrek, don't even think of grabbing that camera. Electric, the electric vehicle news website, um, has gotten pretty much the inside scoop on it. And I'm just going to cover some things from their news article. And uh, feel free to uh, visit their website for more detailed information. But, um, so far, the unreleased details of 8.0, this is going to be one massive, massive UI update, including autopilot features and more. Uh, some things that popped out were a major update to the autopilot, whereas it will now have automatic off-ramp exiting with the turn signal. So basically, if you're on the freeway and you know the next next exit up is yours, you flip on that turn signal, and when the car gets to that ramp, it'll take that exit ramp. Pretty cool. I'm not too sure on the stopping portion of that, but uh, at least it'll get you on the, on the next exit so you don't accidentally miss it, which is easy to do when you're kicking back with, uh, with autopilot and enjoying the much, stress, much more stress-free ride. And uh, basically it's going to work similar to how the automatic lane change works. Only with a turn, or with an exit. Um, they go on to mention that it will probably take some getting used to. But, of course, pay attention to what's going on, because you, you, the driver, are responsible. Uh, let's see. They will be making the traffic-aware cruise control and auto steer more responsive for a smoother experience in traffic. This will be a welcome update. Um, auto steer is a little jerky right now and traffic aware cruise control. I just wish I could turn the damn thing off. I really, really dislike traffic aware cruise control. If I had a need for traffic aware cruise control, I'd already have the vehicle in autopilot. Personally, I prefer standard cruise control when I'm controlling the vehicle. Traffic aware cruise control, fine. That's fine when autopilot's taken over. Now for the UI refresh, uh, there will be a autopilot generated interface on the dashboard. Um, that's going to be getting a update. Um, currently, the vehicles being shown are a little bit more of a uh, there's a little bit of chunkiness in it, uh, clunky and chunkiness. And reportedly, the models of the vehicles around Tesla will now be displayed not only from behind, but in any angle they are moving, like perpendicular to the Tesla or turning a corner. So it's basically becoming more real-time. Less clunk and chunk, more real-time. Uh, let's see. Some dirt -dirt -dirt. Voice commands have been significantly improved. Um, you won't have the need to hold the voice command button any longer. Basically, you should be able to hit it and then speak, which is great if you're in, you know, more windy road driving. It's hard to hold down that button while the steering wheel is being turned back and forth. Or if you're 
under autopilot, you're really not holding the wheel too much, you know. Uh, and the car should be giving a transcript of what the system believes you said onto the dashboard. Personally, I'd just like a freaking list of commands we can actually use instead of having to guess. Uh, let's see. There will be a refresh on the turn list and actions required for routing on the navigation interface. And navigation route planner can now also make suggestions. Vinny, crazy little man. Hi, Gino. Let's see. Inner another aspect um, significantly updated will be the media player. Uh, well, we don't know exactly what's going on with it yet. Um, well, of course, Europe has Spotify, but apparently it's not going to be coming to the U.S. in the 8.0 update. We will still be getting an update with new shortcuts. Um, tune in for popular podcasts and new search with filters by artists, songs, and albums. We've already had tune in. At least I've had tune in since day one. And oh, I got my pages out of place. Um, here we go. Tesla's media player may get some improvement as well. Okay, the TuneIn app could be getting new shortcuts. And Electric knows there will be plenty of other features included in the 8.0 update. So there should be something for everyone. They must be Devo fans. The exact release date is still a mystery. And... Could be coming with a f within a few weeks or within a few months, based on Tesla's rubber band time. Tesla time, as we call it. Smile, cheese.